had to look in a crystal ball and predict where things are going to go. We're really moving from just using genomic sequencing to help the sickest of the sick to trying to put genomic sequence into the medical practice um, of the average everyday citizen. Personalized medicine is really taking advantage of your DNA and your genetic history, which is coded in your DNA, and using that information to decide what medications you should take, what diseases you're potentially at risk for. Every time a new technology comes on board, there's an initial uptake of this, and then the medical community has to figure out how do we use this, the insurers have to figure out how do we use this, the patients have to figure out how we use this, the physicians have to figure out how we use this. But no one has ever come up with something like being able to read your DNA, which gives a prediction across a wide range of diseases and risk factors and potential. Every single person's DNA carries something of value. That value then is going to translate to reducing economic costs. So the value for you and your family is, is direct. You understand that. You take a family history. You understand um, that your family history is relative to your children, relative to your parents, and relative to the rest of your relatives, literally speaking. But what you might not have ever thought about is that your DNA has value to me um, because making comparisons between two genomes of people that are unrelated allows there to be the ability to share information, if you will, that allows us to know Am I carrying a disease that you're carrying? Are we carrying different things? Um, am I at a different risk? Are you at a different risk? So our information, because we're 99.9% .9 identical to each other, actually has value to more than just a family. That value proposition is what's going to drive the cost down and that you're taking the right medications. You're not having side effects that you shouldn't be having and that you also know what you're at potential risk for and hopefully your care is being designed to help meet that.